Running shoes. Amazing, aren't they? They come cushioned, some with built-in microchips, gel pods, and thrust enhancers. All made for the comfort and protection of your feet. But what if I told you that a lot of foot and knee injuries are caused by these same shoes? Well, the truth is that until Nike invented the modern athletic shoe in 1972, people had much lower incidences of running-related injuries. So how can such a cushiony, comfortable shoe be so bad for our feet? Thick-soled shoes prevent our feet from feeling the actual ground we run on. Before Nike, people ran in thin-soled shoes which made our feet stronger. Now, because our feet are so far removed from feeling the ground we run on, our step is harder and therefore puts more pressure on our legs and knees. Think of an Olympic gymnast who must slam down on the mat in order to stick the landing. The thicker the mat, the squishier her landing, the harder she must slam down for stability. But Nike couldn't have known that their shoes were actually doing more damage, right? Wrong. In 2001, Nike came to check on the performance of their sponsored Stanford track team. What they saw was shocking. The team was actually running barefoot. The coach had found that when they did parts of their training barefoot, they ran faster and had less injuries. The Tara Umar have always run practically barefoot, even in the rough terrain of the Sierra Madre. They only wear a very thin sandal and rarely injure themselves on a run. But if you're like me and aren't quite ready to run barefoot, then you have a couple of options. You can buy cheap, thin-soled sneakers, or you can try Vibram five-finger toes. They're the closest thing you can get to running without shoes without actually running barefoot. Kenny used to hike in regular tennis shoes and would suffer knee and back pain. But after he switched to Vibram, his pains have vanished. Since I'm still getting used to running and working out on a regular basis, I'm going to stick to my old tennis shoes. But once I get into a good routine and build my endurance, then I'll consider switching to Vibram.